by the way. I've just met up with a friend and she picked me up some ears in Primark. Right, let's talk packing. And we always use packing cubes. We get asked about these quite a lot, so I will do a little bit of chatting about these. Look how delicious this looks. I've popped some basil on from the garden. I'm gonna tuck in with the bread. Morning, welcome to a new weekend vlog. We're about to head out for a walk. Um, I was actually currently editing an online class for um, my business and it's just looking beautiful. The sun is rising, it's what, half seven in the morning I think. It's really chilly and... Three degrees. About three degrees outside. So we've just wrapped up and we're gonna go and head over to the runway and go for a walk. Oh, and by the way, it's packing weekend so we're going to be packing and getting ready for Disney. So lots and lots of Disney chat today. doing something I never ever do and that's iron. I've got a few pieces that I need to iron before I pack so I've just been doing those. I've done some Disney cute DIYs for another video that I was been meaning to finish so I've got those done and a friend's contacted us and they're in the local area so we're gonna go and meet them for a drink. We've just come, grabbed a drink and we're gonna watch the planes. And game's over, it's now time to pack. Um, I've got some new ears by the way. I've just met up with a friend and she picked me up some ears in Primark. And these are just three pounds. They are so nice, really comfy. Um, I love the sparkly bow as well. I was going to do a DIY jobby on them. I've got three pairs, but I like them so much. I'm gonna keep one pair as they are and do the DIY jobby on the other two. Right, let's talk packing. Everywhere's a bit of a mess at the moment. We've got cases laid out and I need to start packing some of this. All the shoes, accessories, bags and bits and pieces. It definitely feels very different this time. I actually feel properly excited. All the other trips we're planning, we've been packing, but last minute packing, knowing that we have to test before we were going and there was no excitement. You were packing because you had to but you didn't know if you were definitely going. So it was such a strange feeling. This feel, this trip feels so, so different to the others. We always use packing cubes. We get asked about these quite a lot, so I will do a little bit of chatting about these. So I've got my lists, which I'm gonna go through. I've got a highlighter to tick things off, pen in case I need to write anything down. And I am going to start off with the very first packing cube, which will be for the night before the Premier Inn and also my travel day outfit as well. Now, this is when the packing cubes really come in handy. So, for example, we'll take one cube and we will put everything that we need for the night before and the following morning of travel day into one cube. So we'll put like nightwear, we'll put if we're wanting to change in the evening, so we're gonna have a meal there, and then anything we need for travel day. So our travel day outfit, um, toiletries, that kind of thing, everything will go together into one area of the case at the top. So when we open the case, I've got one cube that needs to come out. Then that way you're not having to try and find things in the case, unpack things. It's just so much easier. I don't want an overnight bag because we don't have the car to leave the things in because we're getting a taxi. So it just keeps everything together. The other thing we will have is a bag as well um, in the packing cube so we can start to put dirty washing in as well because we don't want that floating around the suitcase with all the clean stuff. So it's thinking ahead just to make life easier. The other thing, we will have another packing cube for maybe that first evening. So there'll be swimwear just in case, change of clothing, um, and nightwear for when we get to Disney. 
So if for some reason we don't unpack straight away, we've got one little cube that we can open and we've got everything we need. Again, just to stop you from having to need to go through the case and look through everything. We will also keep packing cubes for when we go to the villa. We will just keep one case spare um, for the villa. We're on Disney for the first week. Um, we won't have a washing machine or anything like that. So then when we get to the villa, we will be able to wash things. But I also want to make sure we've got clean swimwear, we've got clean nightwear, underwear, and change of clothing because there's going to be three families staying in the villa, one washing machine. We're not all going to be able to do the washing at the same time. So I want to make sure that I have got things for a couple of days so that I don't have to rely on getting everything washed and ready. So I'll have one case just for the villa. I will also have things like um, washing tablets, for example. I've got dishwasher tablets. Um, I've got things like Nutella, Marmite, things like that that I'm taking that I will just keep for the villa. Something I do take are quite a lot of plain white t-shirts. These are all brand new and um, they're all from Primark. Not very expensive at all, but they're really, really easy to team up with lots of different skirts. It's time for dinner. We were going to make tomato soup, but neither of us really fancied it. So I had some leftover chilli I made the other day. It's a vegan chilli with lentils and beans and it's very yummy. So we're going to have chilli cheese fries. I've made homemade chips topped with homemade chilli. And we're going to add loads of cheese to this. This is something else we do which really helps. I'm popping all the bits and pieces that we know we won't be returning with into a plastic bag. I've got Nutella, I've got washing tablets, dishwasher tablets, cereal bars, after sun, um, I'll be putting shampoo, toothpaste, all these things, cereal bars, like I said, into this bag. I've got hand soaks in the bottom there. And I'll be weighing this. And then we know whatever that weighs, we won't be bringing that back. So if it weighs 12 kilos, that's 12 kilos we've got that's free in our case to come home with. For being nuts. The other thing we do, we pack all our things like this is after sun, all our suntan lotions, um, anything that could possibly leak. We use IKEA Ziploc bags. We reuse them every single trip and um, we bring them home with us and reuse them again. They're just really handy. But obviously, if you do need a Ziploc bag when you're out there, you've got these as well. I have had it before where we've come home and something's leaked, and I've been really grateful that it was in a sealed bag. Good morning, welcome to Sunday. Packing went well yesterday. We're more or less done. There's a few bits and pieces still to go through and sort, but we did really, really well. We've just been to Lidl. We're going to see Louis tomorrow, so I wanted to pick up some food for him to take over and we've got some bits and pieces for us for the week. I'm now going to make a really, really cosy soup. It's definitely soup season, isn't it? It's definitely getting towards that stage. So today we are going to make a pizza soup. I've got cherry tomatoes, onion and garlic. I have got some pesto, green pesto, a couple of tins of chopped tomatoes. I've got onion salt, garlic granules, oregano, and I'm going to be making a little cheese sauce as well. So I've got a little bit of oil and I've got my chopped onions and two large cloves of garlic. I'm actually using my skillet pan. Usually I would pop it all in a tray and pop it in the oven, but I know for the electricity to heat up the oven and then it's probably going to take about 20 to 25 minutes. Whereas I've got instant gas and I can quickly do this in my pan and it's probably going to take me just three to five minutes. So I just thought it would be cheaper to do it this way. But obviously you can do it in the oven if you want. And we're kind of like making the pizza sauce right now. Cherry tomatoes have gone in. And let's add a good amount of oregano. I'm just going to keep stirring this until it's all nice and soft. It smells really good already. I've taken all the tomatoes, onions and garlic out and that's in my little blender. I'm going to whisk that down. I'm really regretting not doing it in my soup pan 
But as I've got so much lovely herby flavor in there, I'm actually going to do some chicken in there to cook for tomorrow. So I don't waste all that flavor. There we go. I'm emptying two tins of chopped tomatoes, about half a t of the tin I'm filling with water and popping back in. And I've decided to add a veggie stock pot as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the colder months. I love autumn but I don't like it when it starts to get really, really dark. So I think once the clocks change, I don't like it until we start to see the lighter evenings in March. I know that when it starts to get to like five o'clock in like in the spring and it's starting to get lighter, I start to get really, really excited. I don't like the short, dark days, but what I do love is the cozy food. I love the food for autumn and winter, I really, really do. And I love a good soup. And I know it probably sounds weird, pizza soup, but it's like a cheesy, tomato-y, herby soup and you dip your bread in it. Aid described it this morning as deconstructed pizza. It's lovely. Um, if you like lasagna soup, you will love pizza soup. It's just so yummy and really, really comforting. The smell from this blender is amazing. If you love garlic, herbs, tomatoes, onions, you will love this. It's just so full of goodness as well. I'm gonna let that cook down. I might actually blend it again with a hand blender just to make it really smooth. I'm just waiting for the stock pot to dissolve. The other thing I should have said is that this is a stove top soup. So it's quick, it's in a saucepan, really easy. You do not need a slow cooker. Whereas some of the pizzas I make, the pizzas, the soups I make, like the lasagna soup, it needs to be done in the crock pot just pure, purely because you've got the pasta in there. So it just cooks then throughout the day. But this is just a quick stove top recipe. I'm gonna let that cool down a bit and then blast it with the blender. When it's nice and warm, do taste it as well to see where it's at. I've added some salt. It needed some sweetness, so I've done a good blast of ketchup in there as well. Add some pepper, add some herbs. We will be adding some pesto in a bit as well. I'm also going to pop in some onion salt and some garlic granules as well, just a little sprinkling. And then I'm just going to make a quick cheese sauce. It's like a cheats roux that you've seen me make before. Make before. Tiny bit of margarine, tiny bit of plain flour. Add a drop of skim, semi-skim milk and whisk. I'll try and get that off. And then you just keep whisking it until it starts to get thick and then keep adding more milk. This is the base of so many of my sauces because a pizza wouldn't be a pizza without cheese in my eyes. I'm gonna crumble in some cheese as well. That soup is now lovely and smooth. It's so delicious. I was gonna add some pesto, but actually it's herby enough as it is. It's really tasty. And now to add my lovely cheese sauce. That a good stir. Let's do a taste test. That is so, so nice. Really tomatoey, really herby, garlic, hint of cheese. I will be putting cheese then on the top of each bowl before I serve it, but that's it, it's done. It's just taken a few minutes. And we've got my homemade um, rye sourdough and we are going to sprinkle cheese on top. I can't wait for this. Look how delicious this looks. I've popped some basil on from the garden. I'm going to tuck in with the bread. What do you think of the soup? That was very nice. It was very really tasty, good, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And did it taste like pizza? Um, yeah, it reminded me of... Um... Yeah, I think thinking it does actually, yeah. I think you imagine the sauce a little bit thicker and I can imagine a bit of a real mm. nice topping on the pizza. Yeah, it's really sort of herby, tomato and garlic. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so, it's yeah. really cosy food. We're going to have that for tea as well, aren't we? I think, didn't you, I wasn't really in there when you were doing it, but didn't you sort of like brown off some stuff, garlic? I did it and, on the video. I oh, know, but I wasn't there to see it. I've not watched <laughs> yes, it, I did. So, right. And that's really made it. <laughs> we're going to work in the lounge now. I'm just packing up the October treat bags. This is what they're looking like and aids working over there and we are both watching american horror story this is the kind of cozy work afternoon i like 
keep thinking about that soup. Do you? Yeah, I can't wait till more. Do you? <laughs> I've ended up working in the studio for a couple of hours. I filmed an extra video for my Patreons this month. Um, I've just done a good tidy in here and organised. We had some happy mail arrive and I did some behind the scenes stuff as well, sharing what's happening next month. And I made this journal page. I've just made this one using the new October kit as well, which I'm quite chuffed with. This journal is coming together really nicely now. Not quite chunky but it's got some good stories in it. I need to photograph that actually before I put that away. But I part of my video was tidying things up and now I'm a mess again. So I'm gonna quickly blitz and then go make some tea. I know I said we were gonna have that pizza soup, but we are going to make cheese toasties to go with it. Our toasties are ready, cheese and onion, and I put cheese on top as well, so they're extra cheesy, but I've gone without the cheese on top of the soup. I don't think we'll need that as well. As well, it might make it a bit sickly. These smell very yummy. What is your favourite filling in a toasted sandwich? A few days later and I'm wanting to finish off the packing now. We've kind of like been just leaving it and just adding a few bits and pieces in the room. So I thought I would just go through you a little with you a little bit more and just show you where we're at now. It's feeling very nicely organised. Um, need to just work out how many tea bags Aid's going to have. We won't take the whole box. We'll just pop some into um, a bag. We've got like salt peppers we take keep all this kind of thing whenever we go to places like starbucks we just pick up a few sugars and things like that then we've got salt and peppers in there as well which we will use for the villa we've also got things like coffee here as well we just need to reorganize this and he has earl grey which has to go in its own separate bag because i cannot stand the smell of it i've got regular tea which i've got and we'll split it out so we work out roughly two cups a day um, that's what we'll have. Still sorting out things like biscuits and that. We will take a pack of ginger nuts. We love ginger biscuits. Um, we had some of these left over from Disney World, uh, Disneyland, sorry, Paris. So we took those. Um, Aid's already got his sweets for the return flight. And these are really handy little bars as well that we like to take with us, just treats like that. Um, for either in the villa or on the go. We will be opening this case when we get to the Premier Inn. So I've got all my toiletries in here. I also keep my makeup bag actually in my hand luggage, but I do have extras like my foundation that I use. I could not go anywhere without this. So I have a new one with me just in case. And I've also got a couple of extra little lip glosses as well. So I've got all my toiletries. I've packed all my hand sanitizers in here. I've got one with me for hand luggage. And then I've got this one as well. Aid's got his toiletries there. So when we get to the Premier Inn, we just need to open this one. We'll have the packing cubes for Premier Inn and then our toiletries are there as well. Ears are nicely packed. Another little tip that we do, we don't keep um, a suitcase per person. We've always done it this way, like when we've traveled with the kids. So we would never just have a case for aid, a case for I, and a case for the kids. We mix all the baggage, um, the packing stuff together. So if one case were to go missing, one person doesn't lose everything. We pack it out over the time. So like when we traveled with Maisie, we actually had Maisie pack a couple days worth of clothing, um, swear, um, spare swim stuff into a packing cube. And then we put that into one of her, into one of ours. So if anything goes missing, hopefully that person will still have plenty of things just to keep them going. And remember as well that when you're packing, you can always pack things inside things. So like our water bottles, if we were stuck for space, we could pack things like the tea bags in there, for example, or like I've done it before where I've stuffed underwear in shoes and things like that. Get crafty with your spaces and fill in all the gaps. Something else I nearly made a big mistake with handbags i usually have like the bath and body works hand sanitizers that hang off and i realized the other day i hadn't removed them so i've gone around and taken them all off because i just had visions of them emptying in the bag and making everything all like sticky and soapy so make sure you do things like that i think that's it though i think we are pretty much good to go blue for me red for aid oh i don't know what the gray one is he snuck that one in there 
And don't forget your hand luggage scales as well. You can pick them up really, really cheaply. They even sell them in Poundland for a pound. But make sure you've got them with you so that it's not so much weighing before you go. That's quite easy. Most of, most of us have scales, bathroom scales. But it's when you're coming back, especially if you're planning to shop, take your little hand luggage, sorry, take your, your luggage scales so that you can weigh them when you're out in Florida or wherever you're going on holiday. It just makes it so much easier. We've been those people that have been packing our luggage at the check-in desk or repacking it because we've got too much stuff trying to bin excess packaging bin all the shower gels and um, sun lotion that we haven't used so I highly highly recommend getting yourself some luggage scales to take away little portable ones and make sure that you've got spare batteries as well I think that's it though we're nearly packed aren't we nearly yeah. ready um, going to be doing hand luggage next so that will be in next weekend's video we get all that done as well. We're kind of like spreading things out whilst we're working, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, I've got work to do as well. So So trying to get things done. But it'd be nice to get things done kind of so we're ready. So yeah. when it comes to next week, we know we've kind of like done most things, haven't we? Yeah, we just because we work right up to the last minute, that's why we do things in advance so that it's, it's not one mad rush. Or that's one what forgotten we do. as well. Yeah, oh <laughs> don't. I hate that kind of thought. But you know that most things you can obviously buy out there in the states yeah. it's just not forgetting the essentials any medication glasses um, glasses obviously Contact passports lenses. anything like that all the important things that's what you don't want to mm. forget but i think we're nearly done but mm. hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us this weekend thank you so much for watching and we will see you next weekend have a great week bye, bye.